right hello again folks just going to briefly film a few logo balls i found recently in uh, february of 2022 in the east anglia england area i'll do a very quick view of them and then i'm gonna up to you if you're watching or then i'm gonna pick up each ball and show you each logo in detail and talk about each one so i can show them off in more detail so there you go that's the very quick view of them and then at the very end of the video i'm going to quickly show you a few other unusual balls there's just three i want to show you so here we go let's go let's try and show you what they are so indiana does anybody know that's on a titleist number 63 i would have thought number 63 is pretty rare to have that's quite odd to have a number like that on a titleist ball indiana was that a tournament anywhere or something and that's on a pro v1x um Anyway, is that a logo? Is that a company? Is that a business? Or is that a tournament? If you know what that is, let me know. Next. Handles Banken. And then something. Fine bank for a fine city. Can't tell what that first word is supposed to be. that simply well looks like there's more than just an a, a fine bank for a fine city maybe handles bank and where's that and that kind of looks like a steeple on a church or something as part of the logo that gray bit there uh, that's on a title list like that. next river park never heard of it don't know where that is summer 2016 well i've just found that in um as I said, February 2022. So it is quite possible that it has been where I found it that long. Good condition, considering it's been in for a few years. Anyway, next, Bidwells, that I believe is an estate agent. I've already got this logo, so this will be a spare or swap. Nice condition ball there, I must say. Next, I had to really clean this ball up. This was pretty dirty. Ashwell. I don't know what they do, what that business is. If anybody knows, feel free to let me know. Next, J&B, Rare Scotch Whiskey. I remember seeing that in the, the film that's called The Thing. I think that film came out about 1982. Kurt Russell, people stuck on a, uh, is it the Arctic or Antarctic um, scientific station? And this creature turns into all these different kinds of creatures. Good film. And they blatantly promoted that brand then. J and B, so that's that's when I first saw it on a in a film. Next. What on earth does that say? It's like a green line and then it says design portfolio, yeah. Design portfolio. Um not heard of that business before. Next. That's probably just somebody's initials. They've, they've got some kind of stamping device to mark their own ball. I, I don't think that's a business. It's too small and too basic. Next. Tierra del Sol. Aruba. That's in the Caribbean, I believe. That's an island. Um, so somebody has had a nice holiday out there, I guess. Oh, Nike. You don't get many Nike balls with logos. Well, you don't in England anyway. And I keep crush. That's a good one. Next, golfbreaks.com. So, if you want to look at that, you can. Tailor made ball. Next, this is a weird one. TB or not TB. Now, I'm sure you've all heard of that quote, to be or not to be. That, um, is that Shakespeare? But TB or not TB, that's obviously a play on that. What on earth that person is trying to say, I don't know. Very odd. Um, yeah, so no idea what that's supposed to mean. That is an odd one. Next, Ford ESP. Well, everybody, I'm sure everybody knows what Ford is, the car company, but what is ESP? I don't know. Don't know how old that ball is. Next, the Rose Golfing Society, established 1963. I've got a few of these logos now. I've, I've 
probably got this as a spare or swap. That's on an almost mint condition Pro V1. Very nice. Next, now this is a really cool one that I found in the pitch black using my um, ultraviolet torch. Hole in one, as you can see quite clearly, and then you've got the date backwards the way we write it in England. So 4th of July 2019, I presume that is. We don't write it that way at all. We, we put the day first, then the month, and then the year. Um, but presumably, I believe I've got it right, that must be the 4th of July 2019. Hole in one, so perhaps that was a hole in one tournament. But what is that? Is that Chinese or is that Japanese? And if anybody can tell me what that actually says, that would really help. So I have absolutely no idea how to read that writing, what that says. So I'll take a photo of this probably and upload it to a logo, a Facebook group about golf balls probably or something like that. See if I can get somebody to tell me what that says. Another Pro V1. That's a nice logo. And this, this, I can't believe I found this one. Pufferfish, Japanese puffer fish. Um, I know they used to make these into lamps. They used to somehow dry the fish and blow it up so it was puffed up and then dry it and make them into lamps. And I bought some of these brand new. That's supposed to, that's Vice written in, I presumably Japanese. Um, Vice came out with this limited edition one. I think they did 999 dozen were produced. Years of training. And they're saying that because um, you have to have years of training as a chef to be able to chop up puff fish and serve it to people without killing them it's extremely toxic if you give them a certain part of the fish so you have to be very very highly skilled to be able to to give that to people anyway i bought three of these brand new sometime in 2021 so months and months ago thinking that'd be cool to have and now i've gone and found one and not only have i found it i found one that's almost in mint condition so i didn't need to buy the other three i've bought <laughs> anyway that happens sometimes next Holly Hollyroyd. I, oh, I can't remember. I did Google this one. I think this might be the one that's something to do with heating heating jackets or something like that. Something I've never heard of it, but I Googled that one. Mint condition ball. Next, Bidwells. That's the same. I've got it before, as you see. I've got Bidwells and I've got one. And now this is interesting. Logo ball. Bang. I don't know if that's a golfer that's hit that really hard and cracked it or whether that's been hit by a lawnmower. Um, but anyway, you can see it's got a green, green solid material inside it. And that is a Titleist NXT Tour S. So just so that you know what an NXT Tour S golf ball is made of, you can see that green solid material. And then you've got the outer cover that's a few millimetres thick. So... That's useful. Next, Try Me. I've got a feeling I've found this logo once before. I've got no idea what Try Me is. Uh, so again, if anybody knows what that business is, what they do, let me know. Next, John Arnold Commercials. Again, I've never heard of that company before. Next, now this is a really cool one. Liverpool Football Club, even though I don't support Liverpool Football Club, it's good to have some football logos. You'll never walk alone, is that slogan up there at the top. Uh, established 1892. And then on the other side, GT. So presumably that stands for golf tournament. And then again, I was trying to work out what that date is. That looks really weird to me, the way it's been written. But I, again, I presume it is. 05 would be the 5th of April 2015. That would make sense. So again, six, seven years ago, someone lost this ball and I've only just found it. Presumably. I mean, I've, I suppose they could have not played it until recently and then lost it. But you would think that a ball that was made in that date had been lost some time ago. Anyway, that's a cool one. Next. R and N, Rogers and Norton Solicitors. Don't know where they are, never heard of them. Okay, next. Pavia's Charity Golf Day. Not heard of that, don't know where that is. Pro 
Sorry, the next HSBC, the great big banking group. I presume that stands for something, but I can never think what it is. Uh, I've got a feeling it's something to do with Hong Kong, the H, isn't it? Hong Kong Standard Banking Corporation, or I don't know. I'm making that up, but it, it must stand for something like that. And as you can see, very, very good condition. Titleless DT Solo. Next, this is a nice big logo. Look at that. And then let's see what we... So it says Blackheath Royal Golf Club. Quite a bit of detail to that logo. And then Instituted 1608. And there's a bit of Latin there. V et art, whatever that means. But Instituted 1608, Christ. Blackheath Royal Golf Club. Now that can't be 1608. Surely not. Anyway. Medalist. A very rarely find a medalist golf ball. A Kushnet. Kushnet is the company that makes Titleist golf balls. They also make Pinnacle golf balls. And obviously they make medalist. Um, next. Cambridge Golf Society. That would be Cambridge, England, I presume. Next. Club Champion. And it doesn't say anything else. Um, club champion, yeah, where? So maybe that was, these golf balls were given to the club champion of somewhere. And he's lost one. Next, man, I believe that's a recruitment agency. So, you know, where you go to find jobs, employment opportunities. I think that's what man is. Uh, again, that's a pretty mint condition ball, that. And the last logo I'm going to show you. If found, please return to... Oh, cool, I didn't read, read that ball. If found, please return to Crown Plaza, Birmingham NEC. All right, okay. I've been to the Birmingham NEC. That stands for National Exhibition Centre. That's where they do exhibitions of different things almost on a weekly basis. They change it. So I've been to something called the Clothes Show Live there, uh, like a fashion show, and you could buy clothing and everything. And then the next week they'll do one for like building supplies. And next week it will be, you know, uh, I don't know, whatever. All sorts of stuff. So exhibitions. Right. So that's the logos I wanted to show you. That's a nice little collection I found, as I said, February 2022 is when those were found. And I'm just going to quickly show you, might as well in this video. I found one of these football novelty balls. And then I found it in the pitch black. I didn't realise when I got home and washed it. It's got a great big crack in it. So... Obviously, it's not as good as a proper golf ball. These are just novelty balls, and there's a crack there, and then there's a great big crack there, so that's junk. Just wanted to show you them. These only cost about, um, uh, I was going to say about a pound from China. Um, and you get people trying to flog these on eBay for like four ninety nine, five ninety nine. do Don't bother. Just buy them yourself from AliExpress.com, I think it is. That's like the Chinese equivalent of Amazon. Next, Winfield. I think this is the first ever golf ball I've had Winfield. Now, I know Winfield was a cigarette brand. Um, presumably, it can't be the same company, but Winfield, that's the first time I've had this particular brand of golf ball. And on the side, it says Titanium. So that's a first for me. Don't know anything about that. If you know anything about that, let me know. And then the last one, this is weird. This is a weird colour. Let me put it next to... Let me put it next to a white ball so you can see the colour difference and I'll put it in between a yellow ball. I don't even know what colour you'd say that is. It's kind of like a really faint pink colour. Okay. Um, and I can't read what that says. I have no idea what that says. Can anybody make out what that is? What is that supposed to say? I really don't know what that says. Um, but then on the side, Wilson. So I well, certainly know what Wilson golf balls are. That make, anyway, brand. And that flag, that little ribbon, that could be because it's a ladies ball. And I know they do, they've got some kind of thing going on with um, some kind of cancer charity. And there's Pin, oh no, that's Pinnacle, isn't it? Pinnacle have got some kind of, Pinnacle Lady have got some charity. But anyway. What is this? What does that say? I can't even, I, I really can't tell you what that says. I'm not sure what that's supposed to say. So if anybody can tell me what that says, please do and please explain anything about this particular ball. Um, it's weird. 
I can't, it's not transparent completely, but it's kind of, I don't know if that's what you'd call a crystal urethane cover or something like that. Um, but it is weird compared to other golf balls, as you can see. See the colour difference. That's the only one I've ever found of these. Out of the thousands of golf balls I've found, that's the first time I've ever found one of these. So, Anyway, there you go. Thanks for watching. Uh, underneath this video, I'll leave you a link so you can click on it and uh, find my YouTube playlist, which shows off um, all my other golf balls that I've filmed. So far, there's over 60 videos for you to watch. If you want to see my collection, if you're interested in buying a collection of probably well over 4,000 logos now, um, or if you just simply want to watch the videos, click on that link and have a look. Anyway, for now, thanks for watching, folks. Bye-bye.